You might remember a couple of months back, we spoke to a lady from the Gold Coast named Susie Dent. Now, Susie was heading to the USA to take part in the Mrs. Earth Contest, a beauty pageant for over 50s. And we're very happy to say Susie is on the line. G'day, Susie. Hi, Kaylee. How are you? Hi, Nick. G'day, Susie. Congratulations. Are you pumped? Oh, I'm so pumped. It's amazing. I'm so thrilled to have come to Vegas for my very first pageant. And I'm coming home with a crown and a new sack. Oh, it's that's very, very fantastic. exciting. Yeah. Now, you've been out partying on the town. We've, uh, we've dragged you off the, uh, the strip in Vegas and you've been partying <laughs> with some other beauty queens. What's going on? Oh, I am. Oh, look, I've bonded with some women. I'm the ringleader, um, <laughs> as you could probably imagine because you've spoken to me before. Uh, the winner of the pageant is this gorgeous woman called um, Robin. And she uh, happens to be born and bred Aussie, but she's representing England. Uh, because she's been living in England. She's married to one of our footballers, and oh. she's been in living in England for a few years. So as soon as we set eyes on each other, that was it. We were off, and we became the A team, and um, other women, you know, had to be better to join our group, and uh, we've had a lovely time. Uh, the first we even went, to, uh, not did the Chippendales, we went and watched the Chippendales, uh, the strip show. And were they watching you as well? Vegas. I bet they were oh, watching no, you. Oh, no, actually, they invited us up on stage, you know. We had a great time. It was awesome. <laughs> My husband was thrilled. He would have been disappointed in me if I hadn't have gone to see a strip show while I was here. <laughs> That's right. So he was very excited, was very excited <laughs> about the whole thing. Now, I saw the photo <laughs> of you um, getting your crown on stage. You looked absolutely lovely. How was that whole um, on-stage pageant thing? Did, was, there a, was there some awkward questions you had to answer about world poverty or any swimsuits or anything? Bringing oh, world when peace I, to when I did, fruition. Yeah, when I did uh, the interview section, I was actually asked a Trump question. Uh, which was quite amusing. Yeah. Um, but I'd sussed out pretty quickly that the lady who asked me the question wasn't a fan, uh, so I got to have a fairly uh, a fairly good diplomatic answer because, you know, you have to be fairly diplomatic on these things. What did she ask um, you? And, uh, it was something about the... Because you get asked all this. Yeah, it was a, it was a, not a panel interview, but it was a round-robin interview with five different judges with three minutes with each judge. Um, and you're kind of there, and in three minutes flat, you've just got to go, bang. And they ask you a question, and you've got to think on your feet mm. and see how you go. It's something to do with uh, Trump and Turnbull and when, uh, you know, him getting snobbed off and, and what I thought about it. And, okay. I uh, kind, of, kind of let her know that America obviously needed a bit of, bit of a change, and it was pretty much their problem, and lots of things had happened, and lots of changes were trying to be made uh, uh, by Mr. Trump and the, the women's movement and a whole lot of other movements were being set back a very long way. Wow. Uh, she loved my answer, so that was all good. She's like, yes, right, that's a great answer. So <laughs> that, was, that was really good. What does this, this win mean for you and for your, uh, your charity work, Souls for Souls? Even not winning would make no difference to me whatsoever with what I was doing for Souls for Souls. Yep. Um, Souls for Souls um, is such a great charity where they collect new and new shoes to distribute to uh, to people overseas and in other in our country and overseas who don't have shoes. Um, it was great for me to actually stand on an international stage um, and talk about Souls for Souls. Um, when I was uh, announced as one of the final six to the judges, we got we actually got an on-stage question, which is pretty much what you just asked, what would what will I do with my crown and what, what are my plans, which are to start my um, initiative in school which I call my GEM initiative, which is my generational education method, which is getting uh, uh, trying to in, uh, install in schools, uh, instead of having a, uh, just a musty day, a musty day where they actually, kids bring their shoes. Uh, so then I can set that up, hopefully, with the education department all over our country, and then we get to uh, raise a new generation of eco-aware adults who will automatically donate their clothes and shoes uh, because fashion and shoes, uh, the second biggest cause of landfill in, in the world. And uh, by doing like a musty day, something simple like that at school, it's a simple and easy way to teach children um, about the fact that there's kids overseas that don't have any shoes and they can't go to school without them. Uh, and uh, when I've done shoe drives, children are very attached to their shoes and they have a lot of ownership and they really uh, it means a lot to them to know that their shoes are actually going to another child to help them get an education. So it's such a simple and powerful way to teach our children uh, and then have a, a whole new generation of, of young adults that we raise in an education way in school that will just be eco-aware young adults because, let's face it, it's their planet that we're passing it on to 
and we need to teach them. When you teach you, you know, tell your children to just turn the light switch off because you're being eco aware, that runs out pretty quickly. Yeah. But the shoe, um, the shoe thing, they children really get attached to it. Um, and uh, I've already spoken. I actually did. A, I did a. Uh, I worked for another show and actually met the Minister for Education who was trapped in my makeup chair, which was wonderful. So I got to talk to him about my initiative and he thought it was great. So I said, well, mate, I've got you right here now, so I'm going to tell you all about it. He thought it was really good, but obviously I have to still go through all the red tape to get to him. But it was nice to actually be able to talk to the man in charge about my idea and he loved it. Uh, so that's what I got to say on stage and uh, they really loved my answer and I believe that helped me play. Uh, do you think you're going to be embracing uh, gowns more now than your your jeans and your t-shirts? Oh, look, I've I've got a lot of guns, gowns now. I wore my very high heel shoes on on, on uh, uh, that I was practicing in. Um, I did a face plant on the on the uh, actual cat walking on the stage. I'm very pleased about that. Did you? Um, I, I really I really embraced uh, this journey of having the hair and makeup and doing. Doing the dresses, and I'm really into it now, Kaylee. Oh, good on you. I, I got to be in the pageant to actually see myself through other people's eyes and realise a lot more about myself. So good on you. Well, that I've been on has been a really nice self-esteem one for me as well. Congratulations, Susie. We're thrilled for you. And at 55, you're, you're the Rosie the Riveter for over 50s women going in a pageant. Oh, thank you <laughs> so much, Kaylee. Thanks, Nick. Thanks Pleasure for your time. Really good. Good. I'll tell you one more thing. In this, we had a swimsuit category, a swimsuit and an exercise category. And most of the girls wore swimsuits and bikinis. I went out in a scuba suit, suit uh, sorry, a scuba suit, channeling my inner Bond girl with a knife strapped to my leg and a knife strapped to my arm, and the audience went mental. <laughs> and I had all the judges come up to me afterwards going, oh, my goodness. You Good for you. amazing in your scuba suit with your knife. Fantastic. So I really rocked it up for Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Susie. Susie can open oysters too, you know. Yeah, but she can. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, guys. Lovely to talk to you. Thanks, Suze. Bye. Bye.